They say think outside the box, but they sure put a lot of crap in these. Let's unbox them. We got some really, really cool stuff that we're gonna unbox for you today. Some cool lures, some cool tools for the water. Uh, I don't know if you'd really call them tools. We'll call them accessories, uh, necessities would be a better term when we talk about bass fishing, in my opinion, necessities, and uh, from several different companies. So we're gonna go over all this stuff and we're gonna talk about some really cool worms that I've been dying to get my hands on. I looked up and found a bait maker literally right down the road from my house that makes these worms. So it's crazy. All that being said, let's talk about accessorizing. So the first box we got is from Waterland. These are actually a pair. These are the blue mirrors. So I'm not gonna be able to unbox them because yeah, I cheated and I unboxed them already. Check this out, guys. These guys make sunglasses. Now, I don't know the whole deal. I know they are part of an offshoot of Six Cents. And I know that Millican actually helped uh, a lot with these glasses. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to give them a shot was because in Milken's video, he actually said that he had spent three years really making a good sunglass for the angler. So it's not big companies that make a lot of sunglasses for just eh, a little bit of everything and anglers. These are for the bass anglers. So inland fishing, I mean, yeah, you can use them anywhere, but these are for and by bass anglers. I got two different uh, versions. These are the Sobro sunglasses. They're matte black blue mirror. Uh, actually, that is exactly what these are. So there's nothing in this box. Great for high sun, just all the way around. Guys, I'm telling you, these things are made well. They're very light. They don't slide down my face. Some good looking styling glasses. Like these, you can use these, you know, not just on the water, but off. And generally, I like something like this during the summertime, just something to keep the sun off. We're gonna move on to the box that has stuff in it, okay? The Sobro in the green mirror. Guys, like I always say, you can tell how much pride a company puts into their product by how well they package it. It's like those third eye fishing worms, you know, the packaging on those worms. I mean, you can tell they spent a dollar on them. It comes with a little lens cleaner, nice hard case. It's got a soft case too. These are the green mirrors. I like this tent. The reason I go with a green mirror, and I live essentially on what qualifies as Tennessee River drainage lakes, and they've all got that green tent to them. So this green tent really offsets the water and allows you to see into the water much, much better. Like I said, man, solid pair of glasses, not real heavy, good quality built sunglasses these are a little more traditional and i like these for the spring or when i'm really needing to see into the water this version of frame is what i'm going to go with especially when i'm sight fishing you're going to you're not going to get as much sun in and under and around the frame this is the and i hope i'm saying this right the hasket matte black blue mirror in both frames again comes with a hard case comes with a soft pouch comes with a cleaner. I can feel them right there. That is big because you don't want the reflection coming off of your cheeks. For you guys that don't know anything about football or baseball, you see these guys, they've got the little black marks around there. Believe it or not, your cheeks will reflect light in and cause glare. That's why they do that. It cuts down on glare so they can see the ball a little bit better. The blue mirror, a little more for that real high sun, just you know, trying to keep things out real high sun this is for a little more of the low light that green water and this is the green mirror in the hasket hasket i don't know again i'm just a hillbilly i you know i speak a whole different type of english if you hadn't noticed <laughs> again they seal down tight to my cheeks going to keep that glare out really going to allow me to see into the water and uh, i like this color super good color for uh, low light and when I'm going to be bed fishing, when I need to see as deep into the water as I can see. 
So we'll be doing a full on review. Today is the first day I've wore the blue mirrors here and uh, I've liked them, you know, they've been great. They've been light, not bothered me one bit. Something that I've really liked about them is that they've not like pressed against my head and really wore that to where it's hurting. That's the one thing that I really notice. Uh, they're not rubbing it raw. They're not, you know, pressing in, giving me a headache. So, so far, so good. So Carl sent me something really cool. Now guys, you know I'm not much of a frog guy. I don't get to fish frogs a whole lot, but this frog is pretty neat. And I'm a big, big fan of the 10,000 fish products, guys. You've seen me use them for betting smallmouth, for betting largemouth. The 10,000 fish products really are top of the line. And this is the 10,000 fish I'm going to call it a tataki frog, okay? So that is a tataki frog. Roam the pads crafted with a patent pending external weight system. This is the tataki wonder across the water. Okay. This system is molded into the hooks and increases durability. Hefty 5 8 ounce size. So this is a big one. Heavier than most frogs for farther cast. Nose is flush with the tie, line tie, to prevent debris from building up. I know one of the things that most guys that throw a lot of frogs, and I know you hear Debo talk about this a lot, the weights right there tend to come out and it seems to solve this problem. Another thing that he talks about a whole lot is, but yeah, yeah, it spins around inside there. So that's something that Debo talks about a lot. Oh, there's also a little tiny pee hole. So if it does get water in it, you can go whoop, 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 and it'll pee out all the water. But good looking design. Next from Tackle Warehouse, I've got the Duo Realis, uh, it's spy baiting. This is their Alpha, so their Spin Bait 72 Alpha. Now, I don't know what to call him. Uh, I guess he's the head over the uh, American or North American uh, Duo Realis, but he actually commented on one of my videos where I was catching them on this. So this is your standard spin bait by Duo Realis. My favorite, my opinion. They're the best on the market. I don't use any other out there. But he commented, and I very much appreciate that. It was an honor to get him to comment. But this is the standard spin bait or spy bait by Duo Realis. This is a 90. They make an 80, a 90, and a 120. A couple others, but... That's, that's really it. And so you can see the profile. This is my favorite color. This is the Ghost Minnow. And just to give you a reference, the Alpha is a little more minnow shaped, but the gentleman from Duo actually said that these would be what I would want to fish for deeper water. And, and I like it because they are really shad shaped. Now, what I like about these is that this is the uh, 72 Alpha. This is a half ounce lure and it's two and five six. Yeah, two and five six inches. So almost three inches, but look at that profile. Let's compare that profile to the regular. So I really like these. Now this particular color, this is a color I like to throw for smallmouth. Got that sartreuse bottom on it. This particular color is the AM Edge. Now this is the 62 Alpha. It's a little bit smaller. It comes in at two and a half inches. And I believe this is only three eighths of an ounce. So a little bit lighter. The other one's a half ounce, this is a three eighths. But you can tell, definitely a little bit smaller. I did pick up in the 62, but it's tied on to my rod, which is in one of my rod lockers. So I'm not gonna dig it out. But this is the Ghost Minnow, my favorite color for Clearwater Largemouth. This one, these are both 72 alphas. So this is the CL Dace. Again, that's a 72. And then this one I really wanted to try out because it is actually just completely clear. And it's literally clear. That's what they call it, it's clear. 
those are the spy baits or spin baits from Duo Realis that I picked up. Again, guys, I love this. I appreciate the gentleman from Duo reaching out to me. Love, love, love your baits, guys. These are incredible. This is something that I really like. Man, there's some cool baits in here. I reached out to this company myself because I kept seeing these, I think they're called core shot worms. I've been dying to try some. So we're gonna start out, this is uh, Ramsey Bates. Uh, the man knows what I like because he definitely sent me some of my favorite style beaver baits. And I love this color. This is like a shad color, actually called bait fish. He sent me a few different, you know, kind of like a sample pack here love guys you know i'm telling you that right there stick that on the back of a buzz bait or a spinner bait that right there that color is going to kill great color and that's one of the reasons why i reached out to this guy because of his colors uh, i don't know what he calls this it's kind of like a uh, uh, brush hog style bait but really really like that now here's one of the things I was like, hey, will you please send me some of these? Look at this. Look at this salamander. This thing is B.A. all day, man. That is so cool. You talk about a big worm or something to throw on a Carolina rig. Whew, that is the deal. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. That is awesome. Look at that. That's, like I said, B.A. all day. So here we've got, this is the Blue Cross, man. You know, this is, if you live in Tennessee or Southwest Virginia, this is a go-to color for you. This is a Blue Crawl. And this is in also his beaver style bait. Love that kind of pearlescent blue on the backside. Good looking bait. Here's another bait that I'm so happy he sent me. This is uh, sprayed grass. This is this color. But look at this. You need a big lizard? Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. Put that on a Carolina rig, put that on a shaky head or a Texas rig. That thing is massive. Look at that. I'm telling you, man, people do not throw big lizards enough. And I'm telling you, they get crushed. I believe this is his bait fish color. God, look at that, man. That is so awesome. That is so awesome translucent color black speck got a little bit of silver in it huge man you talk about fishing out deep on the ledges in clear water carolina rigging these bad boys that is that's pretty incredible like again the bait fish color love that now this is a little bit of a uh well it's a frog but it's you know kind of like a uh well, we'll call it a toad. This is got the eyes on there. Man, that's the first thing I noticed right out of the pack. But this is kind of like a buzz toad. You know, you put that on there and work it across the top water and it's going to kick up. It's going to be real subtle, really good bait, really good bait. He's got some really good colors here. Shindig GTX, Green Pumpkin Sartreuse, Watermelon Pearl. Here's some more bait fish. This is his curl tail style. Nice little finesse worm right there. Good looking bait. And these are all in sun gill, one of my favorite colors. Check that out. Yes. That would be great on a shaky head or even cut it down a little bit on a Ned rig. And then check this bad boy out. Love this tail. Love that tail. Love the sun gill color. A little bit longer. That'd be great on a shaky head. And that's what's in this pack. Uh, this is called uh, Blood in the Water. This is pretty, pretty cool looking little bait. And I guess he's like core shot. Somehow he's got like just the red, this red flake. And it's just in the center of the worm. Look at that. The guy really is creative. Really has some really good colors some really good designs now these are uh i guess kind of his standard colors uh we've got earthworm motor oil blue crawl and smoke in this package this is the earthworm here let me get those that's the earthworm he's got a blue crawl 
I know the blue's not showing up real well in this, but it's it's in there in that kind of pearl essence. I guarantee it shows up great in the water. Great looking worm. And these are the smoke worms. Yeah. Great looking smoke color. Smoke, one of my favorite colors in just about anything. Now we're getting into the real core shots, guys. And uh, man, these things are about as bad as it gets. They're clear. So the first one is Crawdad. But check that out. Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. Look at that. Look at that solid color in the middle with that clear outside. That is such a bad color. The second one is Sexy Lime. Now this color is bright, man. I've never, I don't, I don't throw real bright colors like this. So smallmouth, we may, we may introduce the smallmouth to this color. Look at that. I love the core shot, man. It just has to hit the light totally differently. It's something that the fish just haven't seen a lot of. Now this is a play on peanut butter and jelly. It's got the purple flake in there. Grape. So what are you? Are you a grape and, uh, you know, peanut butter guy? Or are you a strawberry? I'm a strawberry cat. I like grape, but I'm a strawberry cat. It's just who I am. This is, this is definitely a play on watermelon. Watermelon red. I think that's what that is. Watermelon neon. <laughs> one of, honestly it's like one of my favorite colors though watermelon red basically is what that is and i mean look at that i do hope that is showing up that is insane that's uh and the dude lives right down from my house i hope to get him on camera i hope to get him out and maybe go fishing with the guy so he's he's local i did not know at all that the gentleman was local uh so you know Hopefully, maybe get the guy out and uh, go fishing. I think he could tell I was pretty excited about these versions, these core shots. This is uh, watermelon orange. Good, you know, another good crawl color. Silver minnow. It's got that solid silver in the middle. Man. I mean, you would just think that color would crush, just crush during, you know, in clear water. This one is watermelon purple. Got the purple core in it. That'd be a good smally color. And this is baby bass. This is pretty neat. So what he's done is he shot bigger flake and it almost looks like it's a lateral line down the inside of the worm. That's pretty cool. Like I said, the guy's creative, man. The core shot stuff, you know, I've seen it. I've never got to fish with it. You know, we'll definitely do a review and, and talk about these. Now, these are all uh, classic green pepper black flake. But that is either motor oil or goby. Again, that may be motor oil right there. One of those two are motor oil and goby. Now this is definitely, I believe, the green pumpkin black flake. So you've got the green pumpkin in the center and the black flake around the outside. That's awesome. And I believe this is the green pumpkin flash right here. So almost like a play on green pumpkin candy. So it's got, you know, like the purple and the green. But like I said, man, these core shots and, you know, make sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, if you've got it. I'll definitely be taking pictures of these that do them a lot more justice than me showing you right now. Now I'm going to show you his swim baits. If I wasn't doing this unboxing video, I'd have been throwing this today, but this is bait fish. This is five inch, good looking, good looking swim bait right there. 
This color is trout. Another great color, the five inch silver minnow. So this is the first type of swim bait, a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. And this next type, when I seen it, I was just like, man, I've got to try these. So the, this is fire tiger. Check these bad boys out, man. They've got a little, you know, like a hollow body tail on the end. But look at that, that is so cool. Fire tiger. This is Little Devil. Perfect little name for this little red devil right here. Good looking color too. I don't know if he paints that on there. That's pretty cool. The gill, gill pattern actually looks like it's maybe painted on. And this is black and yellow. Are you a Steelers fan? <laughs> black and yellow. These are four inch. Now here's my two. I really like these two colors right here. Uh, and they may be the same thing. They they are unreleased, unnamed. Holy cow. He sent me two that are unreleased and unnamed. That is cool. So in the comment section below, guys, throw some names down there for this color. Maybe he'll like it. Maybe we can talk to talk him into uh, sending you a pack or two of them if he picks your name. Now, it's not a contest. I haven't talked to him about that. He may never want to talk to me ever again after he sees this video. Who knows? But, you know, that's pretty cool. That is a good looking. And oddly enough, of course, this is my favorite color. He's not uh, released it and it's unnamed. So that is pretty neat. Great looking color right there. Hope I'm not uh, showing you something I wasn't supposed to be. But guys, again, I'll leave links, Ramsey Bates. Make sure you check him out. Love those core shots. Love these swim baits. We'll be putting those to the use for sure. All right, guys, it's hot. It is humid. Jeremy's sitting over here, literally looking like he may have a heat stroke any minute. I am sweating through my clothes and we're in the shade. I dread getting back over there, sitting down and starting the engine to drive down the lake to go home. Just to be honest with you. But we're done. It's a day. It's a wrap. Guys, as always, questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. Love to share you some baits from uh, not necessarily the, the big brands, man. There's some really good local bait makers around all of us. Make sure you go check them out and you support them. Just because they're not made by, you know, we'll just say the unnamed big boys, don't mean they're not any good. So go check them out. All right. As always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. Always support real anglers. Support real anglers on YouTube because YouTube hates us. And you guys rock.